I'm Nancy Carlson and I'm the writer and illustrator of 64 picture books. I decided in kindergarten to be an illustrator because my parents read to me as a child so I got to learn to love picture books. I just love that I'm doing it now as an adult. I do a lot of speaking in schools. I'm out um, almost every week at least one place and um, I really focus in on imagination in my talk because, you know, I can't come in for a day and teach someone to write an entire book. It's impossible. So I've decided to focus on imagination and I always stress give yourself time each day to do a drawing. I call it a doodle because that takes pressure off of making it seem like it has to be a finished piece of art. And to just uh, write maybe too. Write a couple sentences a day. Of course I draw every day, I doodle every day. When I get into my studio here, I um, usually answer my emails, which I have plenty of, and then I might doodle a little bit, you know, just to kind of loosen up. Right now I'm working on a book that I'm writing and illustrating um, on autism. I always am thinking of two things when I'm writing. I'm thinking of the parents and the teachers or the counselors that might be using the books. For the child, I just, I just want them to relate to the character, whatever they're trying to overcome, you know, there's hope for them too. My inspiration for my characters come from uh, real people. I mean, that I know, I think about, you know, little bits and pieces. Sometimes they're combined, like for the book, um, Sam. I um, combined my two sons into the character, little bits and pieces of their lives growing up. I was really excited to do this book because this particular character, Sam, is um, he's got a great imagination. He just can't focus to get daily things done, such as homework and getting ready for school. He's constantly late, and it just um, was really fun to figure out, first of all, the character who he is and what he looks like and what are the problems that he faces every day. And then to find a really positive ending and a resolution for him. There's a lot of different ways that we came up with in the book to help him. One of the main things is organization. You know, if you get yourself organized, put your homework in one place and put your, you know, your clothes out the next day, that kind of helps. Space was a really good subject for him because, well, first of all, visually, it just made the book really fun to draw because I could have this space scene, and I love drawing space scenes. Also in the book, it was really important to bring everybody together helping him, mm -hmm. a doctor, the teacher, his dad, so he has this support system that can help him move forward and be successful. It just fits into my philosophy for children is to helping them overcome a simple issue and then feel good about themselves at the end. Thank you.